What's up guys, also back to your walk my turn video. Today we are here in Liberty County back yet again with another video. And today we'll be reviewing the EMS week update, which the update came out Sunday, I think. Yeah, I believe it was Sunday. And the EMS week was last week and they only put one update for the whole week. So yeah, it's, it's not that big, but it is very cool. I do have to say, I do have to admit it is very cool. So basically, I need a, yeah. So basically there's new stretchers and new backboards. So basically if I go ahead and spawn a car here, well, if I just spawn a vehicle, you get it. Okay. Anyways. So if I spawn a vehicle here, there is a new backboard tool. You get it from your trunk. Backboard. So basically, it's like this. You see, this is this exists in real life. It's a backboard. You do walk slow while you are carrying it. No, not that. There. So yeah, it is backward. You do walk slow while you hold it, and you just have to approach a player, and they do have to agree for the request. So once you walk up to a player, it'll send them a request, and they have to either agree or decline, whatever the case may be. And yeah, there are stretchers, but those stretchers appear down here, but only if you spawn an ambulance. So basically, whoops. So basically, you do have you have to get an ambulance. So yeah, I do have this one with. Purchasable, wait, where? Purchasables in game money. This is the ambulance purchasables in game money. See, so yeah, as you can see on the bottom, once I spawn the ambulance, it automatically gives me the stretcher. So, as you can see, stretcher. And you do also walk slow with this, it's super realistic. You just click to set it down, you could just set it down like that. And then you just press E to get it on. You approach a player, it's the same thing with the backboard, they do have to accept your request. To put you on for role plays and stuff, this is really good. You know, you could just walk like this, and then just say like puts in car, and then you just unequip it, and then. So yeah, and there's a revival RP options. So basically, if you get shot or die with like a car accident, or you get shot by another player, you will not get automatically respawned. You will have no health, and someone has to come and save you with the medic bag. I, I did try that out the other day. So basically, you, you just approach a player, you press E, and it heals them just a little, and then they start regaining health and regaining health. So yeah, once you die, there will be an option to not automatically respawn you. And this is good for role plays and stuff like that. It literally says revival RP. But yeah, those are the three things in the updates. Just and they did have an XP boost, which lasted about two or three days, which was very useful. You, I, if you've seen me before, I'll, I've only had like a hundred something XP on this team, and I have 345 because of that. It's pretty, it's easier to get XP on the fire team than it is on the police team. But yeah, so those three things are included with the EMS week update. So yeah, May was a crazy month for Liberty County. At first I did firefighter appreciation day, then police week, then EMS week. All in one month, all crazy updates. So yeah, thank you to the Liberty County developers and thank you to all the IRL first responders that are out there every single day for this. Yeah, granted this is just a game, but this happens in real life. People actually have to go through this in their life so yeah thank you for that but yeah on the serious note guys that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video and all right guys it's been awesome boxing and i'm out peace